Alright, so here we are. I know the haircut looks kind of fresh right now, but I promise you, this has been like a work in progress. And she was just about to go while I was going to Miami. She needed to look fresh. So we're, we're cleaning up a cut, but at the same time, we're cleaning up a messed up cut. So um, we're starting off with the parietal ridge. We're making sure um, that it's 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 fluid all the way through, right? It's kind of like our base. It's kind of like what we're blending into. Once we get into the calic area, we're cutting it in the direction that it's growing using palm to palm cutting techniques. And this is just what we're doing around the crown area until we get to the sides. Then we'll do some scissor over comb and just kind of a, a blunt cut. And the reason why we're doing a blunt cut on the sides, as you can see, um, there's a line there, definitely a ridge there. But the reason why we're doing that is because we're trying to keep as much of that that length or that bulk around the parietal ridge area. So we're over directing the hair and we're kind of just doing a light scissor with comb, just kind of grabbing whatever is coming off the ends of the the spine, the end, the the ends of the hair coming off the spine of the comb. Now, I guess uh, she got a haircut previously, and they kind of uh, went up above the ridge. And it's not like the foundation for a crop like this. You know, you need that squared shape. So if you go up above the ridge, you're gonna lose that squared shape. So we like the length that's on the top. So I'm gonna go straight to customizing the cut, and we're gonna go straight to to point cutting. And what we're doing is we're thinning the hair out and we're also adding some texture to the hair. So as you can see, I'm doing partings. You don't want to keep, you know, point cutting the same panels because all you're going to do is, is keep thinning out the same hair. So once you thin out a panel, put it, push it away. As you can see here, I pushed it away and I got a new panel and I'm just point cutting. And we're doing two panels, one on the left side and now one on her right side. Your left, her right. And we're doing it dry so that, you know, because when hair gets wet, it starts to curl or bend. So I combed it down. I'm wetting the hair now just so, because we're going to start doing some razor cutting here in the front, as you can see here. And I'm just using a feather razor. This is something anybody could do. It rotates and stuff. So it's not necessarily about the pressure. It's more so the angle that you use the razor. You know, the more you lay the, the, the razor flat on the hair, the less you're going to take off. So we're just lightly trying to um, texturize the hair in the front. So it doesn't look like a, like a dumb and dumber cut in the front. It looks more natural, more movement, more texture. And you can even use this to blend and, and all that good stuff. And here what I'm doing is I'm just kind of over directing the hair and just kind of texturizing all that fringe area. Making it look softer. And right here you can see I use it to blend a little bit. I blend it in a little bit there. Now we're doing some um, some slice cutting. This gives like some really defined visual textures. You do it one way and then you comb it down and then you do it the, the other way. Make sure you got some good scissors if you're gonna try this, some good shears. And like you can't, like every time we comb it while it's wet, you can't really see the texture. But once you put this product in there and it's dry, you'll start to see the texture and this is tune 45's brand new it's available right now on the website it's called indestructible it's our matte clay and um usually i would use a diffuser but right now i'm using like low airflow i'm just kind of drying and kind of scrunching the hair you don't want to like move the hair too much because you're just going to create frizziness but you can see as i turn look at all that texture that's coming in now and it's rounded the shape on the top because previously it was cut rounded we're trying to make bring it back to being squared. And I think eventually it will. It's just a matter of letting the sides grow. Um, more so the internal part of the Parado Ridge. You can see that texture is coming in very nice. Now that we're done with the top and we've set our foundation, we're going to frame it all together. Because the hairline is already there and it's pretty short, we're going to put the haircut into a frame. We're going to line it up and we're going to fade into... 
um, in, and keep it within the lines because we're gonna try to keep as much as her C cup as her of her lineup as possible while still doing a bald fade. And as you can see, I'm using my corners. I'm just kind of sketching. I got my middle finger on, you know, on her face for stability. And I'm using, I'm using as much as this corner and kind of taking my time sketching. Here, I'm not pushing it back at all. We're just kind of, just in the corners, we're putting a harder line just to give a little bit more, um, more of a, a squared, more keeping the, it, it, it makes the face more symmetrical when you at least line up the corners, I feel. Especially when like like she doesn't have a huge like she doesn't have like um, a lot of space um, between her side lineup and the the front lineup the front profile. So by defining those corners, um, it gives her a little bit more symmetry in the, in the front profile. So now we're balding it out, and you can see we're we're trying to keep the points. So we're balding it out and we're stopping just before that C cup area. And that's why we, we lined it up first, right? We want to make sure that we kind of keep that there. Now we'll move on to the blade all the way open. Now this haircut, we're going to skip the half guard and we're going to skip the one and a half guard. I believe we skipped the one and a half guard in this one. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry, but I, I believe we do. I could be wrong though. So we closed it like two or three times. Started from the, the top um, guideline. And move, worked our way down. As we worked our way down, we closed it until the line was has vanished. And now we'll go to our number one open. And we're using the shape of the guard. We're not really flicking or we're not really pressing hard. We're using the shape of the guard to blend right into the ridge area which we had already um, brought to a blend a, a blendable length with by doing scissor over comb now the number one is all the way closed and we're following up just beneath where we left off and you can see there's still a faint line there but it's starting to vanish and we still haven't used the half guard and I'll show you how to take this that faint line that's still there that little bit of bulk that's still there I'll, I'll show you guys how to take that out in just a moment But man, I had a lot of fun with this cut, man. Um, I'm down to like two days a week, one and a half days a week. I cut half a day off. Here's where we take out that faint line real quick before I go on my rant. Um, the blade's all the way open, and we're literally using that the the wedge shape to blend right into that number one close. And you can see that it's blending right in. Okay? Skipped an entire step. Look how that blend is coming together. Look, at, It's looking pretty blurry to me. So anyways, like I was saying, um, I'm, I cut half a day on Wednesdays and a full day on Fridays these days, focusing mostly on YouTube and the, the online academy and the tour and uh, building the 245 brand, the company. And um, we're also opening another location here with headlines. So been super busy as, along with some other ambitions that I have. Um, here, real quick, I'm using the number two just to kind of, we don't really need to use it, but just for my OCD sake, um, right at the parietal ridge, just use your number two. And yeah, we skipped the one and a half guard and the half guard. So anyways, like I was saying, I'm, I'm cutting half a day on Wednesdays, a full day on Friday. So I don't really have a lot of time. Um, I don't have a lot of spaces to take my clients anymore. I've been focused on the other things, right? Um, but she needed an emergency haircut, you know. So it's like 8 o'clock when we did this haircut. Um, we did it right before our Thursday night live streams that we do on Instagram, me and Christian Perez, and um, knocked it out right before the live stream. So it was kind of a rush cut, but we got it done, man. I think the haircut came out pretty dope, and you guys will see at the end. But that's kind of, you know, this is like a, a, a good client of mine, a friend of mine. So, you, you know, sometimes you got to do that type of stuff for your clients. 
especially the loyal ones like she she drives probably an hour and probably like an hour every every time just to come get a cut so like that's that's a blessing right there to know that somebody values your work and your art um enough to go out of their way late at night drive an hour to come get a fresh one so it's a blessing man and i mean that's where you want i feel like that's that's definitely how you know i i had imagined and dreamt of getting my cuts to that level where i could demand that type of demand right like i can not demand that type of demand but i can create that type of demand right um so anyways you know guys if you if you guys are watching this video and you're like damn how's he doing that or man i learned some nuggets or, or this you know whatever it may be you you guys are obviously not just on my channel you're on other people's channels as well i commend you and i can tell you right now man even if it's hard right now um it was hard for everybody it took me three years to feel like i was at a decent level just so you guys know i wasn't I, you know i wasn't a natural at this i just didn't sleep i worked my butt off the same way i worked my butt off every day with everything that i do and eventually it clicks man so um if you're in a, in a situation right now where you're starting to get frustrated, like you feel like your cuts just won't get there, I promise you, I promise you, whether it takes you longer than it took me or, sh or less time than it took me, doesn't matter, man, like, yo, you, you gonna be all right, bro, you gonna be all right, just keep, just keep learning. So you guys can see the cut coming together, we did both sides. The steps didn't change. I hope you guys have been following along with the color guards. And this is a tough cut to do, man. Like, I feel like in the States, a lot of people struggle with this cut. It's funny because she she kids all the time. And she's like, man, how you gonna how you gonna give me this hard haircut and retire? Like, nobody, <laughs> you know what I mean? So, I thought that was funny. Here we're using the Bronze Series 9 shave with the best shaver in the game. If you haven't caught Christian Perez's video, check it out. And here, yes, guys, I added a little bit of enhancement. This was my first time using it. So I'm doing a challenge. We got a surprise you for you guys on this challenge that's coming up. And I'm going to drop the video um, very soon. Um, it's already done. I actually did this for the first time the previous cut before. So I got a surprise for you guys, man. And I just, she saw me doing it on my, on my client before this. And was just like, yeah, just, you know, kind of just spruce me up just a little bit, right? I'm going out, spruce me up just a little bit. And this is going to last like like four or five days. It looked dope without it. But, you know, sometimes you just want a little extra pop, so why not, right? Um, but you guys saw, before I even sprayed it, it looked good without it. So, and that's what it's about, man. It's about enhancing your dope cuts. You know what I mean? Bringing your cuts to another level, not hiding nothing. And that's, that's absolutely wasn't, wasn't the intention, so... Hope you guys don't take cool points away from me. Start going in in the comment section like like always. <laughs> but check it out from this profile. I think it's coming out blurry. It's coming out dope. Um, the matte clay is in there, creating a lot of texture along with the way we cut it. The uh, the custom things that we did with the shears, with the scissors, and you guys can see it has a nice soft hairline. It doesn't look like dumb and dumber. Hope you guys enjoyed the haircut. If you guys want more in-depth knowledge, man, we have a tour going on right now between our hands-on classes and our look and learns. Check out the website, tune45.com, tune45education.com if you want to learn some more, guys. Love you guys. Subscribe, hit the like button, and comment below, man.